last tutorial I did based on textures, I used Nintendo 64 rip or N64 rip. And that one's kind of tedious work because you don't really get to see what you're doing other than find an address from somewhere else and put that in. So I figured why not show a way to do something easier by using Quad 64. This looks a little weird at first, but it's just because I went full screen. Anyway, you're going to want to go file, load ROM, and then load yours from wherever it is. Once you have your ROM loaded, you'll see it looks just like Toadstool, the tool that I used to use, but now don't. You can move camera around. I'm not doing a full tutorial on this, but I just want you to know how to move the camera. Left click, you hold it, you can move around. And a lot like Sumar 64 Paint, which I haven't done a tutorial for, still need to figure that out properly in order to do one for that, but I might. You can use WASD to move around, which is a very nice camera. I really like this more than the way Toad Tool worked. It felt more like an orbit, even when you weren't on orbit mode. So when you want to change a texture, I'm going to be teaching how to change the metal cap texture. Because remember someone having a problem with that last time I did Nintendo 64 rip. Whatever texture you want to change, if you want to change the metal cap texture, you have to go to a level with the metal cap object in it. This is the Castle Grounds. It has the wing cap, as you may already know, of course. You've played the game. It's not going to display as the wing cap because it's all the same object, just different contents. But this is the wing cap, of course. And since the wing cap is in this level, when you go to look at the textures for this level, it will show the wing texture. And it'll also show Mario's textures because he gets loaded in this level as well. So, of course, what level has a metal cap? Womp's Fortress does. So you can go to level, select level, and look through here and find Womp's Fortress. And then you press load and it's here. Of course, it looks kind of weird because there are lots of objects here, but you don't need to worry about that now. Once you have your level loaded, then you want to press level again and textures. And now you have this window. Like I said before, you have all the Mario textures because he gets loaded in and you have all the other objects and stuff. You'll have your segments, but it really doesn't matter unless you want it to be a little easier to find something, but you should be able to spot it no problem. So, I'm going to be teaching you how to change the metal cap texture, since we came to Womp Fortress for this. Once you press it, you'll see your format, the ROM address, whatever, and the width and height. You want to, to know these when you're replacing the texture so then it doesn't stretch it in any way, because if you have an 8x8, or in this case if you do a 32x32, 32 32, it'll stretch it to 64x32 and it won't look good. So you want to now image, uh, import from image file. And that's it, you just load your texture, and now it's in. But, of course, you want to save, so you can close this window now, and press file, and save ROM. And that's all. Now I'll show you what it looks like.